Hello, I hope you're having a wonderful day today. Um, today I'll be showing you tips and tricks and efficient ways to get the frozen scythe. Now you might be wondering to yourself, why would I need the frozen scythe? Bonzo staff is just as good, isn't it? And I'd say yes, however, the ability of the Bonzo staff, it does move quite slow and if you're trying to, you know, eliminate a moving target, it could be quite difficult and you could, and you might waste some mana, and which could be just crucial in the heat of the moment. And that's when the Frozen Scythe steps in and takes Bonzo Staff's place. As you know, as you might know, the Frozen Scythe, its ice spikes, they travel a lot faster than the Bonzo Staff's uh, balloons, I'd call them, which could be quite crucial to some players. So, with that out of the way, let's get into tips and tricks for how to unlock the frozen scythe quickly and craft it. So, one way, which which is quite obvious, are minions. So, as you can see, over here I have constructed this not so good looking ice pyramid, and inside you can see a bunch of minions at work. However, you don't need super fancy stuff like tier 11 ice minions and super compactors you know regular um regular minions such as tier 7 and 8 can work too it's just gonna take longer and you don't really need super compactors if you're on a budget like me you can use regular compactors they're just as good and they turn regular ice into packed ice instead of instead of uh, enchanted ice. Oh! That's how you know the minions are after you. Okay, we're gonna pretend that didn't happen. So, as, as you saw, this minion, level 10, has just a single compactor and it's created many many resources, which is helped me get to this amount of ice and that was in itself after a few days which is pretty darn good and if you if you don't know the frozen side you need a stack of enchanted packed ice now if you really wanted to you could bite off the bazaar but a stack of enchanted ice would cost 5.6 million dollars varying on the price of the bazaar right now but do you really want to spend five million dollars do you i didn't think so because if you're on a budget like me compactors and ice minions old reliable and one final way i can i can help you get the get the frozen scythe is this thing it's a nice farm so basically you have a block in the middle you have three blocks out fill it all with water put a wall around it make sure all of them well this the perimeter of of this ice farm is filled with water so if you stand on top seat i put a crafting table here because when you mine ice, it doesn't it doesn't turn into like packed ice or enchanted ice. You have to craft it yourself. So what you want to do is stand in the middle, put some Frostwalker 2 boots on. Could be any boots. I chose golden boots because I didn't want to put them on my regular boots. So you basically just put these on. And look at that. You have a ring of ice. Don't worry if it doesn't fill up. Um, it's, it's just how ice works. It, it's Minecraft. You can't you expect the unexpected. So what you want to do is grab a diamond pickaxe with efficiency 5, silk touch, and telekinesis. Silk touch is vital because if you try, you know, breaking ice without silk touch, you're not going to get any. But with a diamond pick, you can get lots and lots of ice and as you can see 
You just spin around in circles while holding down your brake button. And look at that, lots of ice. One downside, or of actually a few downsides to this method is that one, it does get really repetitive and it can get kind of tiring. And two, it doesn't add to your ice collection. So as you see, I'm at around 327k, and if I just mine a tiny bit, like around that much, you can see that it hasn't changed. So if you are looking to, you know, progress in your ice collection, uh, minions are definitely the way to go. And this method is to only help you get the frozen scythe. So yeah, that has been tips and tricks on efficient ways how to get a frozen scythe. And if you do enjoy this video, leave a comment and maybe drop a drop a subscription, you know, if you want to be nice. But uh, yeah, hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!